Hey guys, welcome back to my channel SAP Agile Learners. Today we are going to talk about internationalization in SAP Puri or SAP UI5. And I hope that you have seen my previous videos. If not, please press the top right icon, which will explain you the concepts of SAP Puri and tools to develop your own Puri apps. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe for my upcoming videos. Now let's get started. So what we are going to learn is I18M in SAP Fiori and its demo. Internationalization. It is also known as localization and one of the best practices of SAP. The properties files for text contains name value pairs for each element. You can add any number of parameters to the text by adding numbers in curly brackets to them. It is used to replace hard-coded text from the application. Next comes our SAP UI5 demo. And I hope that you have seen the last video. If not, please press the top right icon where we develop the project. So we will be continuing the same to save our time. So let's switch to the editor the i18n folder contains i18n dot properties files that we will be creating in which all translatable text per language are located the text in the i18n properties file can be translated and the file named accordingly for example i18n underscore de dot properties is for German. Similarly, i18n underscore en dot properties is for English. Once the texts are translated, the i18n folder enables the app to access the relevant language text as determined by the language set for the app. So let's first create the necessary i18n files in the i18n folder. Here you will have to just right click on that go to new and choose file just give it the, the name like i18n dot properties click finish correct it i18n dot properties finish here we will be passing the value of our view for example the page title value and the button text value so just pass it here and write it in a camel case like page title equals to title normal in english and next button btn text equal to pass it like click me and exclamation sign. Similarly, we will create another file for German language. So just pass the name i18n dot, sorry, underscore de dot properties and click on finish. Here, we will be using the same properties like page title and button text and will replace the title by the text in German like T I T here E comes first like this title in German and similarly we will change it to German like this exclamation sign is extra so this is how we write in German. Now let's open the controller.js file. Just like we added the module SAPM message toast in our last video and added the namespace. Similarly, we have to do for adding the resource bundle so that we can utilize the i18n files. For that, let's place a comma and in the double quotes write as sap slash ui slash model 
slash resource slash resource model same pass it here as a name space resource model now this time we will be using the on it method of controller hooks so just copy it and place it inside here and uncomment it so let me just quickly write some piece of code then i will be explaining the same here i am declaring the variable Here I am passing the file path name like sale demo 02, then subfolder i18n like this. Next, we will have to pass the file name but without extension. Just pass the variable that we declare here. Change it to column. So here I have written some piece of code. Let me just explain you. In the on init function, we instantiate the resource model that points to the new message bundle file where our texts are located. The bundle name sal underscore demo 2 i18n dot i18n consists of the application name space and the folder name i18n here and finally the file name but without extension next what we have done is we have set the model instance on the view as a named model with the key i18n here i18n is the key okay now let's move to the view.xml file here we will be doing some changes like remove the hard coded value pass curly braces in that write i18n and greater than sign and the property that we have defined here the space title sorry page title Similarly, change the text button that we want dynamically pass the curly braces in that write i18n greater than sign and same the property name button text btn caps t button text here greater than character separates the model name and the property name don't hard code or concatenate strings that need to be translatable now let's run our app go to your project right click on that and run as web app preview now let's wait
So here is our output that we have dynamically defined the text in i 89 properties file like this page title equal to title btn text like click me that we define in the view xml file so here is your output title and text name just copy this url or you can click on this button and pass it in your browser so let's switch to the browser and pass this url click enter and so here is your output by default it will pick the i18n.properties file values as per your current browser language to see the output in another language so that we can test the internationalization in SAP Fiori so just open a new tab and go to settings and search for language in that click this and here I have added the language German this click on the three dots and choose move to the top so that now the output will be come in German language so just refresh it so here you can see the app has converted automatically your text in German like this T I T E L and the button text has been changed to like this in German so this is what we call internationalization in SAP Fiori or SAP UI5 app. In the next video, we will look at the binding JSON model data in SAP Fiori. And if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Also, you can reach out to me on sap.agilelearners at the rate gmail.com. Thank you and goodbye.